Hello and welcome to our very first seed starting update video. Today we're going to be up potting several plants and see how much they've grown. And here's our invincible tomatoes looking strong, a tad leggy, and our orange hat tomatoes. The cutest little basil seedling I've ever seen. And this is Katarina cabbage, but it's actually the China star. I noticed I accidentally switched the labels on them while editing the last video. Our other herbs haven't germinated yet after a whole week. They stayed moist and warm, but yeah, they were old seeds, so I wasn't expecting a lot. And just like we started the cabbages and the herbs last time, I uh, made some holes at the bottom of these cups made sure to label them, and filled them with a seed starting mix. The tomatoes started here with the Invincible. Put the rest back on the heat mat to hopefully germinate some more. I wanted to try and help the leggy seedlings by getting them as close to the light as possible. I've learned that as they grow, they reach and stretch as far as they can for that light. So yeah, we're going to try and put them as close as we can. Now here we are at two weeks post starting the seeds, and these guys are looking... I only really get time to mess with these guys on the weekends. So we're going to be doing another round of up potting as we have some more seeds that have germinated. Our time bomb peppers and one of the bayonet bell peppers. And we even have this little tiny jalapeno popping through. And oh my God, I am so excited to see these grow. Since I don't get to these till the weekends, these are also looking pretty leggy. So we're going to try and get those fixed. I think I'll have to see uh, about germinate, or excuse me, I think I'll have to have them up potted immediately and get them under light as soon as I see them germinated. That'll be real easy to pull out the GoPro and record it to just to try and avoid that leggy stage. For the tomatoes, our Aunt Molly's ground cherries have shot up. And I'll say these are the wimpiest looking things I've ever seen. Like they almost look translucent. And that was a really small leaf bundle at the top. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to look, but I remember the seeds being super small to begin with. Once they were in new pots, I decided to bottom water those. I didn't want to overwork them anyway. And for the older batch, it was time to thin down the seedlings. They were starting to get pretty crowded, so I made sure to try and pick the healthier looking plants, just pinched off the others. I won't lie, it made me kind of sad. Uh, like, I don't know why, it was it's just a plant anyway. And since it was two weeks later, I decided to try a round of fertilizer, fish fertilizer to be exact. I didn't want to make a whole gallon like the recipe said, so I had to do some math, which wasn't that hard, but I'll save you the trouble and just say it ended up being about two mils of fertilizer for a cup or eight ounces of water. I went ahead and spread it out evenly and left the remaining at the bottom for it to soak up. Probably won't be watering this batch for a bit. So we're going to see these turn out. Uh, again, most of this is a crapshoot. I only have an idea of what I'm doing from the copious amounts of research I did and gardening content I consumed in the off season. I'm here to learn and I won't be mad at all if any of this fails. I'm not above driving to Lowe's or Home Depot and buying some transplants even. And as for these herbs, I don't know. It's been two weeks and no germination. I think I'm going to give them about one more week before I give up and use that valuable space for something else because yeah, I'm already running out of room at the top of my fridge. And as for the next garden update, we'll be still keeping an eye on the peppers and tomatoes, but soon I'll be using these new garden beds we set up a couple of weeks ago. They are filled with soil and all ready to, ready to go. So stick around if you'd like to see something other than my kitchen next time. Thanks for watching.